This game is rated M for Mature. Hey everyone, this is BlazerGamer112, also known as Blazer. Um, here with, I guess, like a brand new Let's Play uh, that's going to be uh, playing the game Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Um, I played the original Metal Gear Solid uh, on my stream at BlazerGamer112, on twitch.tv slash BlazerGamer112. And, um, this was a, this, uh, it was a game that I streamed, uh, with my buddy, uh, Kyle, uh, Digits BB, uh, who I have on call with me right now. Digits BB. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, originally I was not going to be playing, uh, Metal Gear, the rest of Metal Gear Solids due to the fact that streaming the games is a pain because there's a lot of cutscenes and I'd rather not talk through cutscenes a lot of the time live because some people like to listen to the cutscenes. But instead, uh Kyle proposed the idea of us uh recording it for YouTube where what you're going to be seeing is uh me playing the game and Kyle watching me play the game and gives like fun facts and easter eggs and stuff like that as we go through Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, and Metal Gear Solid 4, at the very least. Yeah, so I think the uh, I think the YouTube recording is actually more so your idea, but yeah. we kind of talked about it and like, these would be the Metal Gear Solid games, especially the later ones, don't really go well with, uh, with Nick's social aspect of streaming on Twitch because we have audience members who talk in the chat a bunch during Nick's streams and yeah. It would be kind of hard to interact with people in chat when we're trying to let people watch cutscenes that span like an hour long. So, yeah. We decided I guess that doing this is the best way to be able to to at least have me and Nick playing through the game and making it entertaining while also being able to like show the story of each of these games to people who are interested in seeing them. Oh yeah. And I will I want to mention uh, this is definitely not going to be a heavily edited like some of the other playthroughs i have in mind currently going on right now uh this is just going to be a quick um cut from each episode so i don't ex i hope you guys don't expect too much edits and i also want to mention that because we're starting with Metal Gear Solid 2 and they have like long cutscenes, um i will be making uh two different versions uh of cutscene episodes and what we mean by cutscene episodes because they're so uh cut this cutscene is going to be pretty long for the most part um i think what what uh kyle and i are going to be doing is that whenever there's like a really really long cutscene uh kyle and i will be make, doing our usual commentary but whenever uh but i'll be recording the video on a separate file so that uh if you want to watch the cutscenes without any commentary uh i'll be making a, a list of that in a different like episode so that you can kind of see without our commentary interrupting the entire cutscene all the time kind of thing i just want to be clear on that and this is more of like where i'm not showing my normal face on all that stuff but i think commentary wise is pretty fine nonetheless um, it's interesting to me that they show the uh, the years that these uh, stories take place because that's I feel like that's not really specified in the, uh, the original games, but yeah, um, I mean yes. I knew that MBS three I knew it was 1964. I think they blatantly call it that year in the game, yeah. but 2007 through 2009 for MGS two, that's interesting because that's like the that's like the time window in which I played the game for the first time. Yeah, back in like middle school. So my my I guess my origin of playing Metal Gear Solid two is that I actually started the Metal Gear series from 2 because, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'll keep this quick, but basically, I, I you know, I played Brawl in, like, 2008, Smash yeah. Bros. Brawl, and having Snake in that game made me interested in trying the Metal Gear series along with a lot of other Nintendo games I hadn't oh. heard of before playing Smash. And uh, my dad just happened to have a copy of Metal Gear Solid 2 that he played, like, all those years ago, and that was, like, the only one that we had. So I decided to just give the game a try, and I was confused as hell. <laughs> <laughs> starting the series from Metal Gear Solid 2. But I played that game all the way through to the end and then went back to Metal Gear Solid 1 and then continued the rest of the uh, the series from there. Yeah. So, and that was in, like, 2008 when I was in, like, middle school. But Yeah. Well, I mean, we can talk more about that stories and the life stuff, but let's get into the game. We've talked long enough. Uh, let's yep. just start this up. So, here we go. We're going to Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. 
2007, 2009. And this is, by the way, this is the HD collection. I have the Legacy collection of Metal Gear Solid, which is why I am able to um, play all the Metal Gear Solid games. I'm playing it on my PS3. Uh, the big, I guess like the, um, how should I say? The, uh, the, shoot, what am I trying to say? Okay, yeah. The, the there's an issue with this that i have to say with um that kyle and, and i discovered like earlier is that uh this isn't the original copy because they took out some things and made some quality of life changes so um there are some things that we will not be able to show through our playthrough but our intention for this is that we're not going for 100 percent we are i'm not 100 percent completionist kyle doesn't care about 100 percent completionist Completing Metal Gear Solid 100% is very difficult with like yeah. the dog tags and everything. Yeah. And uh, ooh, I just think I got a notification accidentally. I need to turn yeah. off my notification. Streamer mode right. activated. Yeah, while well, Nick is doing that, I guess, um, to my knowledge, this is, I mean, it does say Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, mm -hmm. which basically means it's the base game. When Nick says that features are missing, I think you're referring to the, um, like the extra bonus content that was in a Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance, like yeah. the collector's edition of that game. Like this, the version that you're going to be playing doesn't have like a little skateboarding minigame and all those other little like, extra mm -hmm. things. But it does have, I think, all the content and, you know, the main story of Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty yeah. unchanged. So this is essentially the game that I played growing up. Yeah. So I'll, we'll still go through the entire story and, um, and um, experience this, the whole thing. Uh, and then showcase like what the story is happened after the original Metal Gear Solid And if you guys want to see my playthrough of the original Metal Gear Solid and as well as Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes Feel free. Uh, I will provide the playlists to Both Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes um, In my in the description. So if you guys want to see that uh, feel free. Anyway, I'm gonna read this intro really quickly uh, after the Shadow Moses incident, the te technological data on the nuclear-armed walking tank Metal Gear leaks onto the black market. Solid Snake and his allies from the anti-Metal Gear, uh, anti Gear NGO phil phil Philanthropy set out in pursuit of a tanker carrying a new Metal Gear prototype, but Snake falls into a trap set by former Fox Sound member Ocelot and is believed lost along with the tanker at the bottom of the Hudson River. Two years later, the big share on the oil spill cleanup facility constructed on the bay is taken over by terrorists led by a man claiming to be the long lost Solid Snake. The government sends Raiden, a new recruit in the, the new Fox Sound, to infiltrate the big shell and rescue the US president who is held hostage inside. You know, I actually know. I actually This did. is a bit of a spoiler having that blurb there. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah. Well, we're going to go into cutscene heavy, so. Will determine whether this is a episode or not, but yeah. Um, but I did watch uh, Metal Gear Solid, um, a play playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 2 a long time ago, so I know the story. So that's not much of a spoiler for me, but you, for you guys who are watching uh, and don't know the story, that is a spoiler. Konami. Kojima Productions. Too bad that that, that company is gone now. <laughs> Because this is 2021. Oh, yeah. oh, Konami Computer Entertainment Japan presents... A Hideo Kojima game. I see Japanese, actually. I think I saw Japanese. Yeah, I mean, like in Twin Snakes in the first game, like they have like Japanese subtitles for all the locations in the game and stuff. Yeah. Or like when you go to different parts of the map. That's true, yeah. It's actually nice to see uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 graphics compared to Metal Gear Solid 1. Yeah, the characters have faces and not just like bobbleheads. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I remember a comment 
about one of the upcoming cutscenes uh, we will see. That I'll say once we get there. Was this intro in the original Metal Gear Solid 2? I think it is, right? I think so. I think I'd usually skip this, but I believe this is all the same. Yeah, well, for consistency. So you've, uh, I know you've seen like a full YouTube playthrough of MGS4. Have you ever seen this game before? Played like yeah. all the way through? Yeah, no, yeah. I, I've seen all of Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 4. So I know the entire story. I just skipped okay. three. So three is the blind spot for you then. Three is the blind spot, but I know a few things about it. Now the question is, when we get to three, will I play on the 3DS or this one? <laughs> oh yeah. I feel like I haven't heard people talk about that 3DS remake. Was that considered like good? I heard it's a good port, but mm -hmm. I don't. I haven't heard out anything outside of that. But then again, it was like one of the early launches of the 3DS, which no one really cared about. So not much people talked about it. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's basically one of those forgotten games of the 3DS library now. Yeah. Yeah, this, this intro has a lot of spoilers. Yeah, games tend to do that, interestingly enough. Probably because I just assume a lot of people will skip this stuff. Yeah, true. But then again, it's also one of those things that it builds hype. Hmm. Colonel! Uh, who's it's that? Kind of like pulling the Terminator 2 thing, where they could have like marketed Terminator 2 as having Arnold look like the bad guy, but then they completely spoiled it by revealing that Arnold's a good guy in the second movie. Yeah, because the marketing team decided to put it as a trailer. That That's mm -hmm. one thing I hate about the marketing. But that's a different, completely different tangent that we will go to. Uh, Snake Tails, ooh. What's this stuff? Oh, yeah, I don't have a PS Vita. Who does? <laughs> I mean, I remember what snake tails is. Uh, oh, these are little like um, they're they're not cutscenes. They're like like text stories of like Metal Gear of lore, basically. Are they? I think. Am I wrong? Oh, you're right. Oh, I'm right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's like the blurbs they have in like Metal Gear Solid One when you like load the game from a save. So I don't know if it's necessary for you to read this really. Yeah, I I will skip them out. I mean, we can discuss. It's just we... lore for diehard fans. Wait, what? Oh wait, shit. Huh? <laughs> Gameplay. Um, <laughs> oops, I was wrong. Uh, uh, abort, abort, abort. I I think this might be like the VR missions, maybe. Oh my god, abort! I don't know how to abort. Oh god, spoilers. Uh, how do you leave? <laughs> how do you uh, leave? Dude, abort. dude. Uh, abort. You're gonna spoil yourself, man. Reset the game. Reset oh, the god, game. Oh god, we're resetting the game. I'm resetting the game. Uh, good game. Oh man, Metal Gear Solid 2 is already stressful, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what a first, way to start. Well, 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 first gameplay of Metal Gear Solid 2, you're in a snake tail. And you don't know what to do. Mm hmm. Well, that was fun. Yeah, my, my, uh, my, uh, recording just cut off because the PS3's stuff is awkward. So I'll be right back. Oops. Yeah, I have like four videos now. Eh. Okay, skipping. There we go. We're back. All right. We don't do that again. I don't. I don't know. We... Yeah. Let's uh. Let's just start a new game for now, maybe. Yeah. I'm looking at the options really quickly. Oh, I can name entry myself. Hey, look. I see. I see BS here. <laughs>
There we go. Uh, Jesus, what birthday did we want? You want 420? I, you can do whatever you want with that, I think. Yeah. Nationality. <laughs> Uganda. <laughs> Let's go with USA. You realize I can't see what you're doing right now, right? Oh, shoot. I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. I thought you didn't. I thought you realized that I wasn't watching. No, I, I didn't even realize that. No. Oh, so you can go back to the basic, um, story. Alright. Alright, let's see the options really quickly, make sure everything's fine. Uh, radar type 2. Sure. Oh, you can make the game less violent, I guess. Yeah, real-time cutscenes full screen, of course. Captions always on. Adjustment normal view. I am Linda. Cool. Alright, cool. We're good. Uh, what the... Oh, you want tanker plant. That's the full story of the game. Oh, really? So to Yeah, so to explain that real quick, uh, essentially tanker is the first section of the game. Like the first, I guess you could say, segment. Mm -hmm. And then plant is the second segment to the game. So hypothetically, if you're just like a fan of the game and wanted to just play the first segment of the game or just the second segment, you could choose either of those two. But oh, okay. because you're just playing the full version of the entire game, just choose take your plant. Oh, that makes sense. Also, uh, yeah, my PlayStation 3 is not connected to the PlayStation Network, but honestly, I don't really care about getting trophies. So uh, we won't probably won't get to see those trophies pop up anyway. Uh, oh, it's man. PS2 gay man, who needs trophies? Let's go with normal. Uh, I'll go with default too. 